Hey, folks. Good to see you. Dave back here in Studio B. Finally, back here in Studio B. I'm actually playing something tonight. Holy cow. It's just been a uh, a couple of weird weeks with just me not playing stuff and just <laughs> try, trying to get through the day type of things. Uh, everything's kind of been okay. It's just been, uh, I think it's just, it's been the heat. And, you know, as you get older, <laughs> as you know, things change. And I never liked the heat or the beach or things like that. But neither uh, did I ever have a, a huge problem with it. And lately, I haven't been doing well in the heat. And um, I find that if I, you know, if I play a hockey game or I walk the dog or I go to the gym, that's it for the day. And it's it's only been during the, the heat. We had some pretty good heat this week. And the house is hot, too. No matter how much I, uh, just checking my sound here. No matter how much I uh, I have the ACs on and try to cool this place down, I have fans on, um, it's still down here. It's just still kind of hot, and it, it's hot for me. You know, it's, it's in the it's in the mid to high 70s down here, but in, in a house, it's kind of stagnant. And I can't open the windows because it's still too hot outside. So I just haven't been playing much. Just my, my summer doldrums came early. But anyway, enough of that. I am going to play something tonight. We are going to play some Spiders baseball tonight. But before we do that, I do want to thank the Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting Digital to Dice that just turned three years old, full three years in the bank. And we start up year four next week with next week's show. And Ron and I are expecting to go live. So I want to thank our newest supporters, James and Mark, who have jumped aboard to show their support for the Digital to Dice podcast as well as my channel. So uh, should we get down to the field and play some Spiders baseball. What do you think? All righty. So if everything worked out well, we are seeing the ballpark right now as I'm trying to monitor on my phone like I do. The New York Giants are in town tonight, and uh, they're not a very good team here. They're a sub-500 team. So the Spiders, uh, they have a chance to win this one tonight. At home, it's a rare home game here. So the Giants are twenty-five and thirty-four. The Spiders are eight and forty-eight. As we try our desperate climb for twenty wins, but the thing is, we needed to get those wins in early, as later on in the season they're all on the road and it wasn't looking good at all. <clears throat> so again, I am playing as the uh, non-Spider team, so I'll be the Giants tonight, and we'll see how that goes. Crazy Schmidt is on the mound for the Spiders tonight. As we kick things off, it's going to be George Van Haltren coming up for the New York Giants. So let's get this thing started here. And pitches away, and he slaps his right back to the mound. And Crazy Schmidt, easy flip over to first, and is one gone quickly here in the first. Mike Tiernan coming up. He is the right fielder hitting 255. And the pitch, and grounds it down to first. So, so far, things going well for Schmidt and the Spiders. And there's two away. We got Jack Doyle, the first baseman. Oh, he's hitting 299. He's doing pretty well for the Giants. And here's the pitch. And hit down the third base to Sullivan. Sullivan coming over, trying to get it. It can't. It gets by him. And we got a rare play on top of this. So that's going to be a single. Didn't really say what the rare play was, but that's going to be a single. So with two outs, Doyle is on first base. George Davis is the shortstop. He's batting and cleanup. He's hitting 337. That's actually pretty darn good, actually, for this guy here. All righty. Here we go. Davis facing Schmidt with a man on first and two away. Pops it up. Sullivan will get this one easy enough. And the Spiders get out of it. We go to the bottom of the first here in Cleveland. It's the Giants nothing. And the Spiders coming to bat. Tommy Dowd is the center fielder as he usually is. He's facing Bill Carrick. A clean cut, clean shaven guy. Bill Carrick on the mound. Or Carrick rather for the Giants. He kicks in, delivers to Dowd. Dowd slaps this down to Wilson at third, and Wilson flies it over to Doyle for the out. We got Dick Harley in left field. He'll be batting second for the Spiders tonight. Carrick with the pitch to Harley. Ground ball down to Davis at short. Davis coming over with great range, scoops that one up, and throws him away. And there's two outs now in the bottom of the first. 
Quinny coming up. Joe Quinn, he's your second baseman, 286 on the season. And Quinny's going to fly this one into center field with Van Haltren there, and he'll make the catch. And the Spiders go down one, two, and three. Let's go to the second inning now here in Cleveland. There's no score. And again, we'd like to thank Uncle Ron Snake Oil for sponsoring Cleveland Spiders baseball and the Cleveland Spiders ticker tape network. And coming up now is Kid Gleason. He's almost got a little bit of color in that photo. Nice. All right, so we got Gleason facing Crazy Schmidt. And, oh, we got a weird catcher play. I can never figure these out. I try to follow these, and I just never do. So I think that's a pop-out. And pops it up, and Shrekin goes will make the play. So there's one away. So the Giants not batting well at all. Tom O'Brien. Boy, that's a real old picture of Tom O'Brien there. Facing Schmidt. And it's going to be a single up the middle. So there's a couple of hits for the Giants here. As they got a man on first with one away. And we got Park Wilson coming up. He's going to be our third baseman. It's like a little sketch of Park Wilson, actually. That's okay. Schmidt to Wilson. And single up the middle. And we're going to send the lead runner. O'Brien trying to get into third, and he does as the throw is cut off from Dowd. So runners at the corners. One away, and it's Warner coming up. And he's, he, I was thinking about bunting, but he's a C bunter. So it's the catcher, Jack Warner. All right, corners are in. The pitch to Warner. Pops this one up. Sullivan down at third base with the easy catch. And now there's two away. It's going to be the pitcher now, Bill Carrick coming up. So it's pitcher facing pitcher here. Schmidt with the pitch and slams this one in the left field. That's going to score a run. O'Brien comes in to score. It's one nothing. Giants as the pitcher, Carrick, singles in the left field. And P-Jet stomping by. Good to see you, P-Jet. Oh, thank you for the comment, by the way. I was just reading the comments today uh, from the last digital to dice. Very nice comment. Thank you so much. So Wilson is on second base. It's going to be George Van Haltren, not Van Halen. Van Haltren with two away. And the pitch. And it looks like he's going to pop this one up in the shallow right. Quinn comes over, makes a catch. And that'll retire the side. Giants do get a run. It's one nothing Giants. We go to the bottom in a second. Suter Sullivan coming up. He's hitting uh, 245 on the season. Oh, no, he was hitting 265. He was a 245 hitter in real life. And pops this one up. Gleason over there. And the kid makes the catch. Is one away. Sport McAllister, he's in right field. He's hitting, actually, 297. He's doing a little bit better than he did in real life. Sport McAllister. And he wraps that one right up the middle. Nice single by McAllister. So that's the first spider hit of the game. And Tommy Tucker coming up. He's your first baseman. Um, let's not hold him. Let's not hold him. There we go. All right. The pitch to Tucker. Oh, he singles this one in the right. And we're going to um, just throw that back in. McAllis is going to scoot around into third base. So the Spiders got runners at the corners here with only one away. Trailing by one as Malbert stops by. Yeah, it's good to be back. I've, I've had a few tough days. Uh, the heat's been hitting me a little bit more than it, than it usually does. Either that maybe I had something going on. I just wasn't... Wasn't quite focused, if you know what I mean. I wasn't sharp. I was a little lethargic. I just wanted to sleep all the time. That that type of thing. Um, and so I would do what I had to do and call it a day, basically. I just, you know, just sat there watching YouTube all day. But uh, today I think I feel a little bit better. I uh, skated three hours in the heat today, so I think I sweated it all out of me. I played two hockey games and I refereed a third. So And then we just had some ribs. We just went out tonight to Tennessee Barbecue. I think it was called. I don't know if it, it must be a chain. Never been there. It's like five miles from my house. I was dying for ribs. So I said, let's go try this new place out. So we went down there tonight and had some ribs. You know, it's been forever since I had ribs. They weren't bad either. It's kind of a fast food type of place. But in and out, we got our ribs in like five minutes and ate them. And it was, it was pretty good. So so I, had, I got some ribs in me tonight. So we got Lockhead coming up. Enough of the, the menu discussion here. 
Lockhead. And that's going to ground ball the short. I think they're going to get just the one. And McAllister scores from third base, and this game is tied. <clears throat> this game is tied up at 1-1. One one. And 35 Productions, who is an excellent photographer, by the way. Um, yeah, these player photos, this is 1899. You know, some of these might have been taken in 1900, 1901, I, you know. But, yeah, ima imagine the equipment back then just to get a photo. I mean, this is a big deal, having photos like this, yeah. <laughs> Ribs are unreal, yeah. It's 112 in Vegas. Holy cow. You know, but the thing in Vegas, though, it, it can be 100 in Vegas, and, and it's tolerable. When it's 100 here, it's miserable, let me tell you. When it's 90 here, it's miserable. Um. Yeah, the big flashes with the explosion. Yeah, it is. It is kind of funny uh, how they did it back then. But that that that's the equipment they had, and it worked. And somehow, you know, 123 years later, I have pictures of these guys in my computer game. <laughs> All right, here comes uh, Ozzy Shrek and Ghost. He is a catcher. He's hitting two two uh, 317 this season. Holy cow, he's doing pretty well. And he's going to single in the right. And Lockhead goes down the third. And the Spiders with two away have got runners at the corners and are looking and threatening to take the lead. And here's the pitcher, Crazy Schmidt. Oh, he is a crazy-looking one. He really is. As our Red Sox fan stops by, Al was our number one star of the week, by the way, on the Digital Dice three-year anniversary show. We have our three stars of the week, and Al was selected as star number one. So, Al, thank you so much. And a little, little applause. There you go, Al. A little applause for you there for being a star of the week. And we start up year four. Holy cow. Can you believe it's year four of the Digital to Dice podcast? We start year four next week. It's pretty wild. <laughs> uh, it, it, and, and in some ways, it feels like a lot longer than three years. And in other ways, it feels like it's, it's only been a year. I feel like we started it last year. And I can't believe it's been three years. It's, it's really kind of cool. All right, Crazy Schmidt, the pitcher. Can he knock in another spider run here? The pitch from Carrick. No, he's going to pop this one up. And it's caught by Gleason, and that is Al Red Sox Fantasy Beauty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Al's watched Shorzy. Al, I don't know if you have Hulu, but there's a great hockey show called Shorzy on Hulu. Not safe for work, by the way, but it, it, it captures uh, the essence of, of hockey and, and comedy in the locker room and off the locker room. It's, it's very entertaining. PJ, if you're listening, too, you've got to watch Shorzy. It is, it is really funny. Well written, and you got to watch it two or three times. There's only six episodes. It is so funny. The more you watch it, the more you pick up. It really, really is. All right, so we got Mike Tiernan, the right fielder. He grounded out his first time up, and Tiernan, oh, he gets the walk, the Pantera walk. Oh, speaking of Pantera, did you hear Pantera's getting back together? Or at least the two surviving members? Yeah, Phil Anselmo and the bass player are supposed to team up with Zach Wild. If you know Zach Wild, he is the, the guitar player from Ozzy and Black Label Society. And uh, the drummer is from Anthrax. And the four are supposed to tour as Pantera. Now, we know Dimebag Daryl, the guitar player, died. And also the, uh, the drummer died, the two brothers. But the other surviving members want to continue on with Zach Wild and the drummer from Anthrax. I, I might be okay with that. I might be okay with that. So there's your little metal... Uh, Metal news for the day. All right, here comes Doyle. Doyle got to slap this one in the left field. And, no, we're going to hold all the runners. We're going to hold all the runners. Holly's over there, and he got a good look at that one. So, Tiernan's going to hold. So, with, with nobody out, uh, we're going to hold the runners there. So, now we got George Davis. He's our shortstop. He's our cleanup hitter. He is hitting 400 this season. He popped out last time. And let's see what he does. And here comes the pitch. And line drive right at Lockhead. And, ooh, he almost had the double play, but he did not. So it's going to be uh, one away now. It's going to be Kid Gleason. He's the second baseman. The pitch to the kid. Uh-oh, down to Sullivan. He'll get one. And so we get runners at the corners with two away now. And the Giants are now threatening to take the lead here in the third. Yeah, all, all day long at the hockey rink, we were doing the Shorzy references, like, all day. So dumb. So dumb. All day long, we were doing that. Uh, okay, we got Tom O'Brien coming up, hitting 310 on this season. A lot of these guys are doing better than they did in real life to this point. It was about halfway through the season. 
And the pitch. And ground ball down the third. Sullivan trying to get this to prevent the run from scoring. He gets it. And, oh, he makes the play. Sullivan. Oh, no, now he can't get it. And the run goes through. I thought that looked good. I thought that said that he got the ball, but I guess he didn't. So it gets off his glove. Nice effort by Sullivan. And it's going to be a run in the... I was going to say the Yankees. It's the New York Giants take the lead on the hit by O'Brien. That's six hits now off a of crazy Schmidt. Started off pretty good, but now the Giants are starting to rock and roll them here. Park Wilson coming up. He's your third baseman. And Wilson, ground ball to Lockhead. The quick flip, and that'll end the inning. So, Giants pick up one. And after two and a half, it's the New York Giants two and the Cleveland Spiders one. And you're listening to Cleveland Spiders Baseball and the Cleveland Spiders Ticker Tape Network. Bill Carrick is still on the mound for the Giants. Tommy Dowd coming up. He grounded out his first at bat. He's hitting 264. Tommy Dowd. Long fly ball in the right field. Churning over there in the corner. Can't get it. That's going to drop in. And Dowd's going to be safe. So that dropped right in front of Churning. And he couldn't get it. And Dowd's on with a single. I don't think we need to hold him. Yeah, there we go. All righty, so Dick Harley's coming up. He's the left fielder for the Spiders. And the home crowd is going crazy here. A Super Bowl tournament shows up. And here comes... Oh, he's safe! Oh, man. They weren't holding him. He took off and he slid in there under the throw. Wow. Wowzers. All right, we're not going to hold him here. So good base running by the Spiders. Had everybody faked out. And now a line drive at third base, and Wilson gets that one. And Dowd has to hold to this one away. Joe Quinn, the second baseman, hitting two, three, four. He flied out and pops this one out. Davis there. Dowd has to hold at second. So the single and the stolen base so far are going to waste here for the Giants. Uh, for the Spiders, rather. Carrick delivers to Suter Sullivan and Sullivan oh 1 to 12 was a base hit he rolled a 19 and he lines it out and that ends the inning so the giants come away with or the spiders come away with absolutely nothing and we go to the top of the fourth do you know what i noticed ray uh the uh the play by play guy is um the reverend the the happy reverend in Letter Kenny and I didn't realize that and I forget his name now um Dwayne not Dwayne I forget his name now uh Greg or something like that and the the color guy is is um the Amish guy and I didn't pick up on either of those till the third playthrough I didn't pick up on either of those so it's kind of funny going back and watching some of the Letter Kenny guys in that all right we got Jack Warner coming up as we continue to talk hockey slaps that up the middle. So that's hit number seven for the Giants on the day. Warner's going to be held. Carrick is the pitcher. He's one for one. We're going to let him hit. We're going to let him hit. And fly ball in the right field. Left field, rather. Harley coming over. He's underneath it, and he will make the catch. Have to make sure of that one, folks. What's up, buddy? Somebody lighting on fireworks? I can't hear. I got the headphones on, buddy, so I can't hear the fireworks. George Van Haltren coming up. He grounded out and popped out. So he's due out, due out for a line out. One on. And singles in the left. And we're going to hold all the runners. Hold them all. So we got first and second now. Yep. <laughs> Send me that in a do a tang. Yeah. I didn't know what that was. That, that seems so much funnier now that I know what a, a do a tang is a folder. Tiernan coming up. He's one for one. Oh, for one. And uh-oh, uh-oh. Single up the middle. We're going to send everyone. We're going to send everyone. Warner coming around to score. And Van Halter goes into Van Halter goes into third and Tiernan into second. And it's now 3-1 Giants. And a big groan from the fans here in Cleveland. Nine hits off of Crazy Schmidt here. And we're still in the fourth. As Brad shows up, thanks for coming by, Brad. A little Spiders baseball on a Saturday night just to kind of entertain you on a hot summer night. Hot summer night in my radio. Who who did that song, right? 
Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle, ground ball into the hole. Lockhead coming over. Lockhead can't get there. It gets into the outfield. Finn Haltren scores. Churnin scores. And this one's turning into a laugher. It's now 5-1. to one. Crazy Schmidt does look like a mugshot. He, he looks like somebody that I'm not going to mention his name, but he does look like somebody from history. Let me tell you. <laughs> I don't make the photos, folks. I just post them. All right, George Davis. Strike him out. That's the first strikeout for Schmidt. That's the first strikeout for anybody. The, the thing about 1899 baseball, there's not a lot of strikeouts and there's not a lot of home runs. I don't know if I have any home runs so far this season. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. Hey, we got Kid Gleason coming up with two away and a man on first here in the giant fourth. Gleason is 0 for 2. The pitch by Schmidt. And, oh, he fouls that one off. And, oh, it's going to be a pop-out. They're going to call it a pop-out as Shrekin goes. Makes the play. I wasn't sure if that was going to be an out or not, but it is. So the Spiders get out of that with only three runs that inning against. And it's now 5-1 Giants as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Most fun you can have on a Sudbury Saturday night. Sudbury. Sudbury. Sport McAllister. He's got a single in this game. And fly ball in the center. Van Haltren comes over and ain't talking about love. He makes a catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without the stash, you're exactly right. Tommy Tucker coming up. Tommy Tucker. Ground ball the first. Doyle easy play. And there's two away in the spider fourth. 5-1 Giants. Cleveland trying to scratch their way back in. They always like to play from behind. Lockhead. Oh, 1 to 12 is a hit, but he rolls a 14, and Davis down there snags that. Yeah, snags that. A shortstop. And we get out of that one there. So let's go to the top of the fifth. New York coming to bat. It is Tom O'Brien. But Tom's picture kind of looks like a surveillance camera in a parking lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Stomp and Tom Connors reference. Hmm. Oh, Davis. Okay. okay, yeah, that must be uh, 35 Productions because I didn't know what he meant by that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just play ball. <laughs> Tom O'Brien coming up. Ground ball to third, Sullivan. Long throw, and he got him. One away. All right, so it's going to be uh, Park Wilson coming up. He's one for two today. Crazy Schmidt with the pitch. Fly ball on the right. Sport McAllister says, I will take that. And there's two away in the giant fifth. And we got Jack Warner coming up. The pitch by Schmidt. Pops this one up. Suter Sullivan at third base. Hauls that in. And the Spiders run into the dugout. And they'll be batting here in the bottom of the fifth. It's Shrek and goes to catcher. He's actually doing a, a decent 328 this season. Okay, so he did the old hockey game. Yeah, you know, I think he told me that, too, and I didn't I didn't realize that that was him, and they did a few other songs. All right, Shrek and Ghost facing Carrick. Shrek and Ghost, fly ball, left field. O'Brien coming over, sticks out his glove, and I think he makes the catch. He hits the wall, but he's still got the ball. That was hit a ton by Shrek and Ghost, but the catch was made. All righty, so now we got Crazy Schmidt, the pitcher, coming up. Crazy Schmidt, ground ball to second. Gleason with it, flips it over to Doyle, and there's two away. Top of the order, Tommy Dowd. Can the Spiders get anything going here? They need to climb back in this game. Fly ball in the center field. Van Haltren easily underneath that one, and that'll do it. Hey, let's go to the six here in Cleveland. It is 5-1 Giants. It's the pitcher Bill Carrick coming up. Carrick, ground ball, back to the mound. Crazy Schmidt comes up with it and throws it away. Schmidt throws that over the head of Tucker, and Carrick is safe at first base. Van Haltren coming up now. He is uh, one for three. Van Haltren... Down to Quinn. Could this be two? He gets it, and he'll get the one. No, just the one. So the only play was the first base. The pitcher Carrick goes down the second, and so there's one away here in the Giants' six. All righty. 
Chiernan comes to the plate. Schmidt, the pitch. Right back to Schmidt. He'll make the play. Carrick will take third and is two away. So we have another run, potential run on third base here. If Doyle, who's three for three, he's got three singles. Holy cow. This guy's three for three tonight. Let's see if he can make it four for four and drive in a run. And ground ball to Lockhead. Lockhead, long throw, easy out. And that'll do it. So the Spiders hold off the Giants one more time. I don't know if that was his birth name or not. When we talked to uh, uh, Mr. Hetrick there, J. Thomas Hetrick, who wrote the book, we had him on the show. I, I, I forget if he said that was a, probably not his name. There's a lot of nicknames like Kid and Doc and stuff like that, you know. Chief. There's a lot of nicknames there back in the day. So I don't know if that, I don't, I wouldn't I wouldn't think anybody would name that guy crazy. Line drive down to Doyle, one away. Quinny coming up now. Joe Quinn. Ground ball to short. Davis coming over, going to his backhand. Picks this up. Throws this one. It's in the dirt. Davis threw it at Doyle, but it's in the dirt. And Quinney is safe at first base. Suter Sullivan is 0 for 2. Suter Sullivan. Ground ball to second. Gleason coming over. Can't get it. It gets by him in the right field. And there's going to be an error on the play as well. And Quinn goes to third. Sullivan scoots in the second base. And with one away, the Spiders got things cooking. So Sport McAllister's one for two. He has a chance to cut the lead in half and then some. All right, Carrick to McAllister. Pops this one up, though. Nobody can advance. And now there's two away. Tucker. Tucker pops this one up the other way. And Carrick gets out of the inning, and the Spiders faithful are booing as they come off the field. All right, top of the seventh. It's all Giants right now. They get 10 hits on Schmidt. And ground ball to third. Sullivan gets that one. Throws it over to first, and he's going away. Kid Gleason. And the replay game was a uh, replay gamer. I was watching you, uh, watching a video of the golf today. I uh, When I get home from hockey, I was really beat, so I laid down in bed, and I was listening to you play that um that golf game that you did. Uh, ASG Cards and Dice, I think you were playing. I, I've been playing that on the computer. I, I kind of like that. All right, so Kid Gleason coming up against Schmidt and singles this one into center field. So finally, we have something going on here on the base path. Not a very entertaining game here tonight at uh, Cleveland Stadium, wherever we are. I forgot the name of the stadium back then. I knew it too. Ball Ballpark Field or something like that? Park Field or something? Tom O'Brien, and he's got a single in the left field, and we're going to hold all the runners there. Holly got that in in a hurry, so Gleason takes a long turn at second, but he's going to stay right there. All righty, so we got Park Wilson coming up. He's an A bunter, and we're going to bunt. We're going to bunt. There we go, 92%. They're not expecting this, and the only play is the first, and so he gets the job done. So with one away... He gets the bunt. Now there's two away, but Jack Warner coming up with runners in scoring position. League Park, thank you. There's, I know it was something Park, Park Field. No, League Park sounds good to me. Actually, I think part of it's still there, if I remember. All right, Warner now. Warner struck him out, and Schmidt gets on to the seventh. And we're going to let Al Red Sox fans sing the, uh, sing the song here at the end of the, the half inning. All right, thank you, Al, so much. And now we'll get on with things. It's going to be Lockhead now. Lockhead, ground ball to Davis. Davis comes up with this and makes the play. So Lockhead is out. Spider is going down way too easy in this game. Shrek and Ghost hit one deep the last time. Shrek and Ghost singles up the middle. Frederick Crazy Schmidt. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't crazy. I'm not crazy. You're not crazy. Take <laughs> Al singing it. I knew Al was going to sing it. Crazy Schmidt, the pitcher, coming up now. And Crazy Schmidt lines it to first. Doyle gets it. Shrek and Ghost has to hang on there. As Al did the short version. Yes, he did. Tommy Dowd with two away. And Tommy Dowd singles this one in the right. Shrek and Ghost heads to third. And the Spiders get runners on the corners again. This is the second time they've had runners on base. They just can't knock anybody in. 
All righty, so it's Dick Harley now hitting 270. He's O for everything today. The pitch by Carrick pops this one up. Good night. And the Spiders go down again with another goose egg in the, in the seventh. All righty. So the Giants coming up is going to be the pitcher, Bill Carrick, leading things off. Carrick, ground ball the first. Tucker puts it away. Here goes George Van Haltren. He's our center fielder today. And he hits it right back to the mom of Schmidt with a nice play. Two away. Mike Jernan coming up. Boy, he's been up four times in this game. Jernan. Oh, he gets the Pantero walk. All righty. So now it's going to be Jack Doyle. Two away. Man on first. Giants looking to add to the lead. And he gets a walk. Crazy Schmidt must be getting tired. That's back-to-back -back walks here. Oh, boy. So now we got George Davis, the cleanup hitter, the shortstop, hitting 394. And it gets away from Shrek and Ghost, and everybody's safe. Oh, boy. So now the runners are in scoring position for Davis, who bangs his bat on the plate, and here we go. And they're going to put him on. That's actually a smart move by the Cleveland skipper. So the bases are loaded for Kid Gleason. He's only one for four today, hitting 289 on the season. Here we go. Pitch to the kid. And grounds it down the third. Sullivan gets it. And they get out of the bases loaded jam. So they're still in this one. It's 5-1. to one. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Quinn coming up. He's 0 for 3. Spider somehow have seven hits in this game. And Quinn hits that one in the right field. Let's call that eight hits in this game, but they still only get the one run to show for it. Suter, Sullivan. Sullivan lines it at first base. Doyle with a nice catch over there. There's one away. Sport McAllister, one for three today. Sport McAllister, one for four today with a line drive. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be taking Crazy out of the game. I think Crazy was the guy that actually would yell at the fans. He'd yell at his team. He'd yell at the fans. He, that's why they called him crazy. He was nuts. He really was. Kid Man is a 1919 Black Sox. That's interesting. That's a little bit of baseball trivia you don't get on a Fortnite stream. Right, Ron? Tommy Tucker with two outs. Spider's running out of outs quickly here. Tucker lines this down the third, and that'll do it. All right, so let's go to the top of the ninth. Giants trying to add to their lead here. They've made two errors in this game, by the way, the Giants. This is going to be Tom O'Brien. He's three for four. Three singles. Schmidt. And this is going to be hit well into the gap. Dowd racing over. He can't get it. O'Brien's going to go in with a stand-up triple. So O'Brien, four for five today off a of crazy Schmidt. And the infield comes in for Pete Wilson, who's an A bunter. And we're going to go for the squeeze. We're going for the squeeze. Suicide squeeze. Here we go. 61% chance. Here's the pitch by Schmidt. Wilson drops this down. And the only play is the first base. So the suicide squeeze works out really well. Nice bunt by Wilson. And the guy who got the triple comes in to score. All right. So the job is done. All right. So they added a run at 6-1. to one. I like to play small ball. I do. Jack Warner. Fly ball into left field. Harley coming over. He's not going to get there. That's going to drop in it. Oh, no. He threw it away. And it gets thrown away again. And Warner is going to end up at third base. Oh, boy. He threw it back in. It got away from his man. And Warner is going to end up at third base with hit number 14 of the day. For the Giants, and Crazy Schmidt is now tired. So Bill Carrick, he's the pitcher, facing Schmidt. Is Schmidt going to stay in the game? No, they're going to call in Harry Maupin, <laughs> who is just as bad as Crazy Schmidt. So Maupin comes in to mop up here in the ninth. And the pitch. Ground ball the third. Sullivan has it. And they're going to come home for the out. Oh, the runner came home, and they got him. So a, a big gamble there. By the Giants, up by five with only one away. That was a tough, tough play. All right, Van Haltren coming up. Van Haltren, he's going to slap this one deep. That's going to be over the head of Dow. That's going to be a double. 
Carrick goes in the third, and it's second and third now with two away. Holy cow. 15 hits by the Giants. Chen and a chance to knock in some more runs here and break the heart of the Spider Faithful. And he does. He sits that in the right field. We're sending him. We're sending everybody. Carrick scores. And Haltron scores. It's now 8-1 to one on the single by Tiernan. Oh, boy. So Maupin coming in. He just needs to get one out. He's having a real hard time doing that. Doyle pops this one up. So finally we get out of the inning. All right. All right, so here on this Sudbury Saturday night, we're going to go to the bottom of the ninth. And, uh, yeah, that looks like it was done with an Etch-a-Sketch, doesn't it? Have you ever seen I mean, that's probably something to look up on YouTube is, like, Etch-a-Sketch drawings. There's some people who are completely unbelievable with Etch-a-Sketch. I, I couldn't do nothing with it, but. All righty, Harry Lockhead. Last hope for the Spiders. Ground ball down a second. Kid Gleason coming over. Kid Gleason can't get it. And Lockhead's going to go to first. I think he's going to scoot down to second all the way to third. Oh, boy, they booted that one badly. It was a single and a couple of errors on the play. And Lockhead, the leadoff, well, we're going to call it a hit. And he goes down to third. A single and an E4. So the wild throw sends Lockhead to third base. So the Spiders, with nobody out, are still alive. Shrek and Ghost. Shrek and Ghost flies this one in the right field. Not sure if that's going to get the runner home or not. The play at the plate, and he's safe. So another run here for the Spiders, but they got a long way to go, trailing 8-2. to two. Here's Harry Mop in the pitcher. Nope, now they're going to bring in Frank Bates as the pinch hitter. So here comes Frank Bates, hitting 391 this season. Frank Bates gets the walk. So Carrick trying to get out of this ninth inning, having some problems right now. Tommy Dowd coming up. Tommy Dowd. It gets away from Warner, and Bates goes down to second. So the Cleveland faithful still have something to cheer for here in the bottom of the ninth. Tommy Dowd is two for four. Tommy Dowd, line drive to Kid Gleason. And now there's two away. Now the Spiders are down to their last out. Hmm, their last out. Yes, it is. Dick Harley facing Carrick. Carrick trying to go the distance. And here's the pitch. And ground ball the first. Doyle has it. That is your game. So let's take a look at the box score here as we wrap things up. So the Spiders fall to 8 and 49. The Giants improve to 26 and 34. Schmidt takes the loss. He goes to 0 and 2. He had an 827 ERA. He gave up a whole bunch of hits in this game. He gave up 14 hits. Maupin didn't do much better coming in and giving up a pair of hits. And that is that. So. Let's just take a look at our standings here. So as you see, the Spiders fall to 8-49 and 49 as we try to get that elusive 20-game win streak. We've got a long ways to go, folks. We're still in June here, actually. So that is that. Let's go back to Studio B. And here we are here. And, well, that was that. So fun times. Hot I see how hot I am here. Just, just with these lights on, it's just so hot in this house. It's just that's why I haven't been streaming too much. It's just been too hot to stream. I, I need to get AC down here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it though. But anyway, so that is that. Some Spiders baseball and a, uh, a Sudbury Saturday night. Thanks everybody for coming in and joining me here. Just we just play a little bit of ball tonight. A little bit of ball, Scarecrow. It's always fun time there. So. Uh, so that is that. So a new Digital to Dice dropped the other day. It is our three three full years of Digital to Dice, if you can believe it. So we, we talked a little bit about the last three years, and Ron and I are hoping to do a live show coming up maybe next weekend, and we'll get to chat with all of you live as we begin year four. Maybe talk to you about what, what you'd like to see with Digital to Dice, you know, things you enjoy, things, you know, whatever. You know, we might uh, open things up next weekend there as we go live, uh, a, a very rare live show for us, you know, but... Um, it should be fun, but anyway. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and um, hope you guys have a good weekend. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Let's see what the uh, the weather looks like tomorrow. Let's see how hot it is. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll be outside power washing. Or maybe I'll be playing power washer hero tonight here. You never know. <laughs> I'm Dave. Thanks for watching.